Hey everybody, this is Mike. We're doing a comparison review here of the Moya brand uh, Descartes uh, Black Kimono. It's in size A2 versus the Shoyo Roll Yank in A2. They are both 450 gram pearl weave jackets. Um, you know, uh, as you can see, they look really similar and they both look really nice. Um, the Moya comes with pants that are um, a heavier pant, heavier cotton. They're made for daily training, as they say on their website. Um, and of course, the Yank, as it's well known, comes with the thin ripstop uh, pants. So if we go over here looking at the Moya, you can see the patchwork. And actually, the patches look really nice. As of you know, all the other uh, geese I was looking at, um, the Moya was the only one that kind of like stood out in terms of like being kind of artistic. And they have a nice design here on the the patch. It's kind of like a baseball motif type thing going on with um, the color scheme. And on the other side here, if I can get to the other sleeve. It just has Moya brand, but it's embroidered. So it's not actually a patch. You can see there. It looks really nice actually. The light here is, you know, I'm just using the window light. Um, both both the geese have the the, call, the lapels that are um, foam, EVA foam. Uh, the Moya is a lighter uh, lapel, feels like. Uh, not as hard as the, the Yank. And inside, um, the Moya, it doesn't have any type of uh, taping. It doesn't have, you know, a little tape that the Shoyo does saying, you know, Moya brand, whatever. And it has all the typical reinforcements you're going to find. But just like uh, the Yank, it doesn't have the little reinforcement in the armpit. And as you can see, there is no tape on the bottom. There's the reinforcements. No tape. And on the back side, it just has Moya Brand, which is better than their previous batch, which had um, MoyaBrand.com or something like that. And you can see here too where they sewed on the patches. And if you want to take them off, just take a seam ripper and just rip them off in the back here. But I like the patch. And actually, you know, most patches I don't like on the front. Like gameness. And I uh, don't like it too much. And I'll turn over real quick. I'm doing everything with one hand. And you can see the contrast stitching. Pretty symmetrical. It's actually better than the Yanks. Plain back, except for the little Moya Brown logo, which is actually really nice. I like their embroidery. It goes really well with the gi. So going over here to the Yank, you have another, you know, they're both 450 gram uh, jackets. They're both uh, pearl weave. So you have, you know, the little pearls, the little circles. And it's kind of rough on this side, but with the 450 grams, they're smooth on the inside, which is nice. You know, you have the show your roll tape. It says, um, you know, fine cut kimonos on this batch. And this collar is a little bit stiffer, not by much, it's a little bit stiffer than the Moya. And of course, um, I actually bought this ski off of eBay because I love this color scheme. It's navy with white contrast stitching. And uh, the only other company that makes that is Tatami right now. And the Tatami uh, weave is just feels warm and the cut is too narrow in the shoulders for me. So um, that's why I, I busted out and finally, you know, bought this. You got the rusted taping on the bottom. Which is nice, actually, you know, people said that they really like the colors on the navy with the Rasta, which I do too. You got one little patch down here. And, of course, you got just the patches on the sleeves that just say, you know, Jiu-Jitsu. And on the other side, just says, <laughs> Shoy Roller, Kimono or something. Yes, it's Kimonos. And on the back is, I'll flip it over real quick. It's just plain. And you can see the contrast stitching pretty well. There's like a couple areas here. It looks like kind of off here. And over here, it 
looks off a little bit. So, other than that, let me show you the pants now. We'll com compare the pants back to back. Doing this on my mom's bed. So we got the best light. These are the Moya pants first. And they are the heavier uh, cotton pants made for daily training. And um, they have four loops. And after trying them on, I would recommend that they put another loop close to the end here because when you take the bungee and you tighten it up, it tends to right up against your side there. No pro weave gusset or anything like that, which I would have liked. I like that. It has a longer uh, knee reinforcement area, which you know should, a lot of people should like that. And of course, there's no tape on the inside, but just fine. You know. No loose threads, turn it inside and out. Same thing with the jacket, no loose threads. So looks great. Again, their embroidery is perfect, I like that. And the patch is really cool. And there's nothing on the back, no other decal, so I'm not gonna turn it over. And I'll just show you the show you world pants uh, real quick. Which are the legendary <laughs> ripstop pants. I find it funny because you know you can go on the forums and 75 of the percent of the people love, love them and 25 percent hate them. They are really thin, and um, I guess a lot of people have had them and they've ripped. But love the color scheme, love the way they feel because they're so light. Um, Knee reinforcement areas are not as long. Some people have had some issues with that. You know, them, you know, when they're kneeling down, it's got the frosted tape inside. No um, Pro Weave Gusset, which I've, I like, and I wish it would have had on here. And you could probably go with just a little bit thicker rip stop, and it would probably be, be better. But, you know, if you want to wear it for competition, this would probably be cool. And, of course, it just has one little show you a little on the bottom of the pants so let me go back to back again sorry about this I'm doing everything with one hand so there you go you got two 450 gram pro weave jackets both super lightweight the one is a little bit lighter it's got a little bit um, less stiff collar than the Yank. Um, the Yank is not being made anymore. If you want it, you, get, you can grab it off eBay every now and then for about 300 bucks or so. The Moya is going for about 180. Get off the website, they're in stock right now. I'm not affiliated with any of the companies, unfortunately, so I had to buy them myself. Um, they are not shrunk down yet, they're not pre-shrunk. You'll have to shrink them down if, they, you know, if you don't like the way they fit right now. But other than, you know, personal preference, um, there's not much difference, you know, other than color schemes or, you know, patches if you don't like this or that, you know. But the Moya is right up there. I would say it's the one gi that competes with the Shoya Roll, you know, perfectly in terms of being a classy gi, not too blinged out. You can tell there's a lot of... Um, thought put into their uh, patchwork and stuff, into the art. And the Sherry Rolls, you know, it's a really classy E2. And they were one of the first to come out and really emphasize the lightweight and the contrast ditching and stuff. So people have a big following. But I'd say, hey, um, you know, check out the Moyas. If you can't get a hold of a Sherry Roll, you don't want to do the pre-sale thing. And um, uh, I think the Moya looks really nice. And they have black, white, and blue. And, um, you know, so give them a try if, if you like the sherry roll. And it could just come down to fit or whatever. I'm not sure. You know, I'm going to check them out. I'm going to shrink them down. I'm going to give them the vinegar uh, soak. And uh, hopefully I'll be back with a, a second uh, review showing how um, they both compare after they've been shrunk down and stuff. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hope it helped.